Yeah, hi there. These comments are for 1028, and I am uh, Professor Buckoff, your English 104 instructor here at California State University, San Bernardino. And I just read your uh, essay number two for our class, and your total score here is 71% out of 100. So let's take a look at what types of things that you can do to strengthen your writing. So I'm looking at the rubrics I use right now. The first thing I think is the thesis statement. So you don't really have a thesis which frames the, the three parts of the project. So let me give you an example of how some students have done this. This student says, I will be explaining Durst's theory, the meaning for his theory, and I will be comparing Durst's theory with the fact I adopted to see if the theory explains my experience. So that's his thesis. And then he repeats some of the keywords from the thesis. He puts some of those keywords in the topic sentences in the body paragraphs to kind of refer back to the thesis to create a coherent organization which made it easier for him and more difficult for you to link old and new information together. The whole purpose of a thesis is to unify the whole project. That's what you're trying to do and you did not uh, do that. Okay now another thing. The, the next area you can I think strengthen when it comes to part two when you're talking about the hidden message uh, I think that part of it you could have developed a little bit more. I think that's something that you probably should have explored more. Uh, I like how you said Durf wishes to bring to attention how the masses are enslaved to some of the craziest fashion styles. So there, so then what you can do, you can use information from Durf's background, you can take information from the cartoon, and also you can talk about events from 1995 which you think influence your interpretation. So there's a lot of, um, you have to back up what you're saying with more specific evidence in order to make the interpretation more credible. So that's something that you can work on. Uh, another thing that's that you lost some points on, it's not clear many cases in your different paragraphs who is saying what, right? It becomes difficult. So let me see if I can give you an example uh, of this and maybe we can kind of compare. Okay, let's see what you say. So in one of your paragraphs, you say, the spread and acclaim of this absurd fashion trend attain an unstoppable nature as soon all the high school college students will adopt the trend in the next pretext of how it is cool and trendy. Soon the high school principal and the locality learn of the trend in place to confiscate. But who is saying this? Right? And where is it coming from? Is this box one? Is this box two? Box three? Box four? Is this back door saying this? So it's just not clear. So if you look at another writer who has a kind of doing the same thing in, in his paragraph. He says, the hidden message of peer pressure that was discussed in the previous paragraph can be found in the second and third comment strip boxes of the city. In the second comment strip box, Durf stated that when Tabitha Soren read the MTV news with a booger on her nose, it causes 50 million high school students to blindly follow suit. Durf uses the word blindly to indicate that these high school students didn't have any idea why they did it, only that they gave in uh, to peer pressure. In the third comic strip box, Durf explains. So the difference is when I'm reading his paragraph, he has more voice markers referring first to the different boxes in the cartoon and second to Durf by name, so I can exactly understand who is saying what. So in yours, you want to make sure that you put those voice markers in there so we can understand who is saying what. So that's another area I think you can uh, make some improvements in. Um, and I think that is it. So those are the comments I wanted to give you. So overall, I think on this one you had uh, uh, 16 points you lost in the different categories. So your total was 55 minus 16, 
which puts you at 39 divided by 55 gives you a 71 percent on this writing project so think about it so for sure next time don't lose points in these two areas make sure you have a specific thesis which helps frame the whole project and then even within each part of the the writing project you also need to have maybe a mini thesis in that part to help your audience understand what's happening there too so you will need a lot of different kinds of sentences to try to link the old and new information together that's going to be very a very big challenge for you I think but you want to do it you can take it you can do this right and also make sure in the next paper that you put more voice markers in there so we can understand when you're talking about tannin or when you're talking about your own ideas or personal experience when are you talking about these survey results uh, from the peers you interviewed and when are you talking about the different scholarly sources so you will have at least 11 or 12 different sources in this final paper so you want to make sure you can keep track of who is saying what now if you don't know how to do that go to blackboard under essay 3 look at formatting and integrating sources into your writing and you will see some examples of how you can do that more effectively alright and thank you for completing this writing project